جیسا کہ ہم جانتے ہیں کہ نقشہ جو ہے وہ ہماری روزمرہ زندگی میں بہت اہمیت رکھتا ہے وہ اس لحاظ سے کہ جب ہم ایک ٹیچر کلاس میں جب بھی اور اسپیشلی جوگرفی کے سبجیکٹ میں نقشے کی اہمیت سے ہم انکار نہیں کر سکتے نقشے کی انڈرسٹینڈنگ کے لیے ضروری ہے کہ اس میں وی ہیو ٹو میجر کیٹیگریز آف میپس ویئر وی کین ڈرا دا ٹائپس نمبر ون دی میپس آر ڈرون آن دا بیسز آف اسکیل اینڈ نمبر ٹو دا میپس آر ڈسکسڈ آن دا پرپز آن دا بیسز آف پرپز سو ہیئر وی ہیو دا میپس آن دا بیسز آف اسکیلس دی ٹائپس آر دیئر وی اسٹارٹ فرام small scales to large scale in small scale maps the scale is from 1 cm to 940 km or 1 cm on the map is equal to 940 km on the ground so we can say here 1 over 94 million so is called the rf of the map So it's a small scale map. So here you can draw or map the whole of the country, which is the USA. Now again, the other category of map according to scale is the one centimeter on the map is equal to 370 kilometer. So here you can draw the south eastern part of USA. So is smaller area than USA. Now third category actually is map which has a scale of 1 cm is equal to 160 km. So we are moving toward large scale maps. So here we have a state of USA. So the last category of the map which has a large scale map, the scale is 1 cm. is equal to 13 km so here the city of atlanta actually is on the map so the city map is drawn on a scale which is called the large scale so maps are usually drawn to show different detail on a large or small scales now according to scale the large scale map is the cadastral map So are drawn to register the ownership of property by demarcating the boundaries of fields and buildings. The term cadastral is derived from the French word means register of territorial property. These maps are specially prepared by the government to realize revenue and tax. the village map as well as city settlement settlement map of our country may be cited as example which are drawn on a very large scale from 16 inches to the mile or 15 cm to 1 km so as to fill in all possible details so here you have the parcels level map so all the streets are actually on the map and the major fields the cultivated land here the cultivated land or you can draw the map of the fields here and the map of each and every parcel so here you have the parcels of which belongs to the built up area so for the purpose of revenue collection or tax collection these cadastral maps are very important number 2 which is also the large scale map is the topographical map so on a large scale maps based on precise surveys they show general surface feature in detail both natural landscape and cultural landscape the topographical maps are also prepared on a fairly large scale being based on precise surveys unlike cadastral maps the scale of topographical maps varies in general from 1 inch to 1 mile or to 1 over 4 inch to the mile they do not show boundaries of the individual plots or building 
it is rather the principal topographical forms like relief and drainage ant forest village and town and means of communication it is for this reason that for geographers these are the most valuable tool this is a topographical map of a area so it not only shows the natural features like this is actually the contour and all are the contours so gives the height of the area so this is actually 900 feet above sea level now here you have the settlements so all the settlements are along the the roads so is not only giving the natural but as well as human features next category is the wall map small scale maps used in the classroom the word as a whole or in hemisphere is represented on the wall map these are prepared for continent or countries large or small according to their need so the wall map has information regarding the continents and oceans so here you will see the major continents of the planet the asia europe africa australia south america and north america so these maps are used in the classroom are generally drawn for classrooms in these maps the scale is smaller than that of the topographical maps but larger than the atlas maps now the last category of the maps which are on the basis of scale is called the atlas map it is a very small scale map give a more or less highly generalized picture regarding the physical climatic and economic condition of different regions of the earth 